Uh, during this segment of the program, we have an opportunity to talk to a local songwriter, and he is George Powis. George, thanks for coming in. Pleasure to be here. I appreciate the fact you'd spend some time on Bucksmont Live. Tell me a little bit about your background, and we're going to be playing actually a song that George has written coming up in a little bit, but uh, give me your background. Uh, well, my background is kind of diverse. Uh, I, yeah, I, I really, uh, I, I love the arts and uh, I do uh, independent films, which uh, when I was on before, John and I spoke about that. Mm -hmm. It was an independent film I shot up in Allentown. Um, and um, uh, the gentleman that's videotaping this segment is actually the editor and a person that I've worked with, uh, Joe Spallone from Media Spallone Media Productions in mm -hmm. uh, Sellersville. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've worked with him and he's worked with me as well as doing th different things. And so we uh, kind of collaborate doing uh, independent stuff, you know, uh, short films. And when he has, he's done some weddings and so forth and he, he asks for my assistance, whatever. And that's kind of cool. So, but so, how do you become a songwriter? Well, how, I don't know. It, it's like, question, it's like, how any, do you do this? It's like anything. It's like, how do you write a poem? It's, it's, it's from within your being, I guess, of, of, of your, uh, your talents, your interests, whatever. And being around the time of the, of the season, you know, you hear like all these different things going on and, and you get outside in the cold air. And next thing you know, it's like, that's that sounds kind of neat, you know. You need to just kind of formulate it and so forth, and then you uh, you start writing and uh, bring all these little words and pieces together to uh, you know formulate your your story. In a so sense. you were inspired by the holiday season. Ah, uh, definitely. I'm okay. always inspired by the holiday season. Have you written a lot of songs? Uh, actually, I've written another one, which is very kind of quirky in a sense. Okay. Uh, it's actually titled Norman Rockwell's Plan for Graffiti Land. <laughs> Uh, yeah, really. And I've taken 21 titles of Norman Rockwell's paintings and had it instrumentally uh, composed into an anti-graffiti reggae rap song. Really? Now, why would a person think about that? But it's just the idea of like, well, you know, there's so much beauty. You see some of it, you know, color-wise in, in, in the graffiti that's out there and mm -hmm. its expression. The thing of it is, if it was, if it was actually instrumented, instrumentally, you know, uh, transposed in a different way, mm -hmm. a better way, you know, I don't want to take away anyone's graffiti style or whatever. It's just the idea of how a person, you know, relates to it. Yeah. You know, you're, that's, you're saying, that's an individual thing. Now, you're saying graffiti as, as art form. Ex well, yeah, in a way, I guess it is because right. you're using a media. You're using a paint. You're using whatever it is, and you're using a, a wall or whatever, a medium right. to apply it to. And Sometimes I think of graffiti as vandalism. Though. Well, and that's, that's not, kind of the negative well, side. And, 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 yeah, it is a negative yeah. side because you you didn't ask permission. Right. But, exactly. You know, right. But when you get permission or whatever, like you go into the city and you see a lot of these uh, tapestries that are really yeah. going about the city, really kind of like you know mm -hmm. makes it uh, really a, a pleasant area to go back to to see in, 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 in some instances. There's a good way to do it. There's a bad uh, way to do it. In everything. It's like in anything. Everything. Yes, there is. Now, now, now George, tell me, we're, we're going to play... Uh, your song coming uh, up here, sure. which, which which you did not record, right? Well, I was actually there uh, in the recording session, actually, I sing background in it. Okay. Um, I created the melody for it. The uh, the lyrics uh, were uh, originally originated by myself, mm -hmm. and then with uh, the help of the engineer, Eric Aubrey from uh, Red Armadillo Studio over mm -hmm. in Chalfont, he's mm -hmm. no longer there. Uh, we lost uh, touch, but he's he actually was involved with John Bon Jovi. And didn't know really? this, yeah. And and I actually, when I was in school in Philadelphia, um, at the same school that my uh, my friend Joe Spallone is, mm -hmm. we're from. Um, we uh, I actually went there to intern. Didn't know that he actually did uh, engineer John Bon Jovi's first album. No kidding. And that to me was like, yeah, okay, this is cool. Was that slippery when wet? Was that his first you album? You know, I believe it was. Right, because yeah, he had an yeah. album that he recorded when he was very young. Yeah. And then, of course, he uh, he achieved superstar. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. But, I mean, it, to, to know someone that could pick up a phone and talk to John Bon Jovi, you know, it's like, okay, that's pretty pretty tight. You know, I like some of his music. My yeah. wife loves John Bon Jovi. Yeah. I think some of it has to do with the music, and yeah. some of it has to do yeah. with, well, just John Bon Jovi. Yeah, there Jovi. you go. Yes, yeah. So now, and now, the style changes, of course. You know. so, so now you wrote the, the melody. You, you, I wrote, uh, yeah. You did the lyrics, yeah. the music. Yeah. And the lyrics yeah. uh, are by George, yeah. and and you were inspired by the holiday yeah, season. Definitely by the house. Who's the featured uh, you know, the, uh, the vocalist? Artist here, the vocalist. The vocalist is um, Debbie Sokol, okay. and she's actually from uh, the Mo uh, Montgomeryville area. Okay, and uh, uh, 
Eric Aubrey happened to know her because she has done background music for other people and so forth in his studio when he was in Chalfont. Mm -hmm. And so we just sat down one night and said, you know, let's let's compile all this and what. So we actually sat down a little bit and looked at what the, what we had and so forth and uh, tightened it up a little bit here and there and uh, went in the studio and, and uh, threw the tracks down. So when was this recorded? This was actually done way back in uh, 2005, okay. 2006. And I've been, I've had it in, in like a drawer of like all my, like my music is in one drawer, my designing, you know, for like <laughs> golfing or whatever it is that I do. I mean, being that you, I enjoy anything I can think of. Right to do and so forth. What does your golf design work like? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. I, I mean, actually, I'm a golfer. Are you really? I, uh, well, you I, I can hook you up with something I have. Okay. Yeah. Have, you, have you actually designed, did you have? I have patents on them. Real? Oh, yeah, yeah. No kidding. No, I don't, I don't play around. Okay, yeah. well, I'll tell you what. George, a, lot of people, a lot of people a lot of t people, take me as like, you know, um, uh, a jokester, like, you know, you can't do that. Take I, this I man seriously it. is what I, I say. Thank you very much. Appreciate Absolutely. No, I appreciate is, that. All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> this, this is supposed to be all about the music. Yeah, it is. Really. So, so let's get to the, what's the name of the song? The World Comes Alive at Christmas. The World Comes Alive at Christmas. Yes. And you're listening to it on Bucksmont Live here at AM 1440. And uh, George, that was a, a very nice song. Thank you very much. I, I, I think your inspiration was now all you have to do is do some more holiday songs. Pretty soon you yeah, got an well, album. I think this might be the start of something, to be honest with you, because uh, when I played it for my friend uh, uh, Joe, mm -hmm. he had said, you know what, you should do uh, like a video of this. So I think this is going to be the beginning of uh, coming back and doing some other, more things. The, big, the, the start of something big. You know, if somebody were interested in this, is there a place they can go to download it? Is there a website? Uh, right you now, have yeah, you, I'm... In development? Yeah, I'm, you know, I've been such... I've been busy with doing uh, uh, the the films and so forth and, mm -hmm. and working, doing different things. Right now I'm on a uh, sabbatical, uh, but... Um, I am in the process for next year. I might even have to talk to Sidecast about doing something with Sidecast, that. Sidecast, Facebook, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at Facebook, we are going to be there, and this is going to be on Facebook. Okay. This film, this taping that we're going to be doing is going to be on, on Facebook for WMPV, uh, for uh, Joe Spillow Media Productions, really? and yes, and uh, for uh, for my uh, for my Facebook page. And I, I'd have you know I'd have brushed my hair today if I'd have known. You know what? You look great. You look great. Do I? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I like to hear, George. Yeah. I like to hear that positive reinforcement. We're going to take a I quick break. It. We're going to be back, and we'll wrap up this edition of Box My Live in a moment. Uh, George, it was a pleasure having you on the program. Really appreciate your coming in. Thank you for inviting me. Name of the song again. The World Comes Alive at Christmas. And, and a website that people can go to that and... Well, uh, it's Facebook page, yes. WMPV, uh, Facebook, my uh, personal uh, Facebook, Just Below Media Production Facebook. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, then people will find it. I, I, sure, it's, I, sure, I sure hope so. Another miracle of the holiday season, no doubt about Why it. Why not? Uh, yeah. George, uh, it was a pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.